Okay, so I'm going to try to do this faster. It's not going on YouTube. Uh, I'm coming off as really tired. You can come down here, look at the time, and say, oh, yeah, that's probably why he's tired. So let's open up our VI desktop. Now, I'm, I'm sure I have an account. I'm not going to go into have what where my account is. I do this at work. I'm part of an AD group that has access. I, I don't have to sign in. This is going to ask me to sign in. I don't even know what the heck that thing was. Uh, da, 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 da. I already have a Power BI. Uh, I don't feel like signing in. Oh, look. It works. What does that mean? That means that you don't have to actually have that going on. It's been... It's been like that for like a year and a half since I got my first certification in this. So let's go into get data. All right, we're going to go with an Excel spreadsheet. We can bring in financials. I have those three set up so that you can watch the progression of data as it's going through I don't um, I don't really feel like trying to set up a server mostly because setting up the server entails having like an enterprise level uh, account and I'm not going to do any weird stuff because there we go sheet four What I do is usually pretty sensitive. It's data science, data analysis. With data, it's always sensitive. Makes it a little bit harder to get a job. Oh, show your work. Can't show my work. So let's do this instead. Here's my table. As you can see, there are some missing and some not missing. Uh, cells. So we've got no values. So first off, we're going to go into editing queries. Now you've got two choices and that's going across so you can get the averages of the early mid and late part of the month uh, this is just a really quick thing obviously um, so going across can be an average X uh, some people will do a is no um, one zero so that it only it only records uh, the cells that don't have or that uh, sorry it records the cells that have a value so that that is the number that you'll you'll divide by to get your average um, that can get really annoying so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to add a column go to custom column da, 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 da. I always call this exactly what I'm doing so that if anybody else were to work on this while I'm out, they can be like, oh, look. So let's go with 
January. Don't forget those curly breaks, uh, brackets. It's something that I already did. Do it all commas. You can do this with pluses, but if you do it with pluses, you have to divide the total amount by the amount of um, elements here. In other words, you have to get your average. Depending on your data type, you might have to have different options. But we're going to do this, the list average. And now you can see that you have been ordering more product at the beginning or selling more product at the beginning of the month than at the end or the middle. And that uh, between months, um, you do more of your sales between the end of one month and the beginning of another month. And then the middle of your months are always bad. So what if you want an average for every month? Well, let's close and apply this. So we have that extra column. And there it is. And let's just go ahead and do a new measure. And I'm going to bring this over to the table. So that we can do the measure. The measure already end up in here. No, looks like no. All right. So if you're going to go across the table, you have to edit. Go into editing queries. If you're going to go down through a column, you have to do a measure on the starting page. Just a left click. You can also stay here on the home page, go right here to new measure. What time are we at? We're at seven minutes. And that's no good. I just really like to try to be thorough. And then there's there are so many things that I want to say. So uh, let's go with the April average equals oh look we've got two missing things all right well that's cool average of april real easy you know and now if we go over here Get our April average on that scorecard. It's 23. Wait. That's not right. Because these are no values. They should be zeros, right? But what if we put in average A? Hit that mark again. Come back over here. Still, well, that's interesting. Maybe I can edit this. Ooh, did not like that at all. Huh. No matter what, this does not like to work. Anyway, I'll 
Oh, that is interesting. All right. Well, that has been interesting. Have a good night.